Welcome to 15th of July's Quality Blessing. Supreme Father says, May you be a powerful soul who is set on your Trikaldarshi seat. Trikaldarshi means past, present and future. So you're sitting over here in your mind, you're looking at the past, you're looking at the present and you're looking at the future while performing every act. So how do you become powerful? When you are looking at the past, present and future and making your decisions in the present, that makes you a powerful soul because you are deciding as per what do you want to do right now in the present? The children who are always set on their Trikaldashi seats while performing every act know that many situations will come and take place. It's going to happen. Situations will come through people, through things. We're going to discuss that. Whether through oneself. Now, why would it come through oneself? Because of one's own mistakes, because of one's own uh, impurities or negativities or negative thinking or wasteful thinking. You create the situation. You are so fearful about something that it may happen and you create it. Because So you create that situation by your own self. Don't we do that sometimes? Waste thinking, negative thinking, giving out information without even thinking and leading that to come back to us. So whether through oneself, through others, that means other souls who are bringing situations for us, negativity, they are bringing about uh, impure or they bring about impure decisions, impure thinking, they are poisoning other people towards us or against us or could be that they are becoming hindrance in our life through Maya. Now Maya is in everyone, right? To a certain percentage up and down in Brahmins and in those souls who have not taken this knowledge, who don't know that they have to fight over the five vices, they have 100% Maya within them. So it might not be that the soul you meet today had something to do with you in your previous births. 63 births we have been sinning, God says. So it, it's not necessary that you met them somewhere. It could be that right now in this Kalyu, everybody's got Maya within them. So it is a present karma which is happening. It's not something which has got to do with everything of the past life. We are living a life right now also, right? So we meet people, we are in a mood, they are in a mood, we exchange moods. And because of Maya, the exchange of mood can be little on the negative side or maybe more on the negative side. But yes, we it's not necessary that we are meeting someone and if somebody is becoming a hindrance in life, you're meeting that person and he was there in my previous life and I did something with that person, that's why he's doing that. No, it's not necessary. It's the Maya which is enacting the play. So Maya is making that soul, even though you'd never met them in the previous life, to behave in a certain manner with you. And Maya within us also is making us behave in a certain manner with others. God says whether through oneself, through others, others through Maya or matter, five elements, even a physical body can give us trouble. Five elements around us can give us trouble. Situations will come anyways. In many ways it will come and anyways. They will definitely come. God says be prepared. So that means, what does that mean? It means that we have to have the power of acceptance. We have to have the power of accepting things, people, five elements that they'll enact, they'll behave. Not necessarily the way we want them to, but the opposite way. However, when your original stage is powerful, every external situation is then nothing compared to your original stage. So if we are spiritually powerful, that means spirituality helps us to become mentally and emotionally powerful, then a situation comes and we do not react, we do not get we do not get sad, we do not feel depressed, we are powerful enough to assess, to discern, to judge the situation, not the person, judge the situation and then think about it from three aspects of time that what should I do right now? So that this situation which has come in a negative way, what should I behave, what should I talk, what should I think right now so that it becomes better for me in the future. So before performing any act, simply check and understand the three aspects of time of that act. It's beginning, middle and end. How did it happen? What should I do right now? How do I want the end to be like? Then perform that act and you will become powerful and go beyond all adverse situations. Om Shanti.